Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. Today I want to talk to you about my trip to GunCon 2023, brought to you by The Gun Collective and Brownells. So before we begin, I'd like to thank John Patton for putting this awesome event on and Brownells for being such good hosts. Uh, Brownells, if you've never been there in Grinnell, Iowa, has a extremely impressive building, very nice place, and uh, they were... It, Everybody I met from Brownells over the weekend were awesome people. So uh, thanks to both of those, uh, John and Brownells, for doing this. So after several flight delays, finally getting my rental car, checking into my hotel room at 1.30 in the morning the day before range day, I finally made it to Grinnell, Iowa. So day one was range day and it was awesome and it was busy. I did not get to shoot as many things as I was hoping to. Um, a couple of things that caught my eye were the Genesis 12 gauge semi-auto shotguns that are modeled after AR-15. Um, those seem super cool if you get a chance to check out Genesis. Uh, but I did get to spend a significant amount of time with the POF guys. Um, they make phenomenal AR rifles. Spent some time with the y YHM, CAN, Yankee Hill Machine, Silencer guys, awesome group of people all the way across the board, both POF and YHM. Uh, spent some time at the Taurus table. Uh, Taurus is one of those companies that uh, has just been putting out knockout after knockout here in the last handful of years, and I can't wait to see what more they have coming out. And as well as even going to the Stuff and Things table where I got to shoot that sort of goofy but uh admittedly fun uh double trigger kind of paintball thing uh that is a trigger replacement or a trigger add-on for your standard ar-15 admittedly it's sort of a guilty pleasure at this point and i'm probably going to buy one now those are just a handful of the people that i've got to talk to and spend some time with check out what they had there's a ton of good vendors there i just didn't get a chance to talk to all of them or to really see everything they had out on the tables so after that we went and had dinner at brownells which was very good i don't know who the catering company was but it was very very good food and we hung out for a while after that i got back to my hotel about midnight got about a blink of an eye asleep and was up and around for day two which was sort of the industry day at brownells in their back room in their warehouse area Again, very impressive building at Brownells uh, and very, very good hosts. Now, day two is where I had the most fun personally. Uh, I got to talk to the most people. I got to really get to know uh, some of the vendors and get more in-depth talking to about the products that they're selling, the products that they're releasing, things like that. So for day two for me was the best day. Don't get me wrong, shooting guns is awesome, but um, yeah, I really got to talk more to these vendors and other creators as well on day two. Now, some of the standouts for me when walking around for day two was, of course, POF, of course, YHM. Those guys, I wanted to talk to them some more. Um, the guys over at Genesis, Stern Defense, like the ones that I mentioned before, but Timney Trigger. Timney is also an Arizona company, so it was really cool talking to those guys. The Streamlight Table, spent a lot of time with those guys. Streamlight's an awesome company. If you don't know by now, I don't even know why you're shooting guns. Had a good time talking to Eric Pratt from Gun Owners of America. Uh, great table there. Century Arms, High Point, Stag Arms was a great table. They, they're putting out some really cool stuff. I like their I like their rifles a lot. Hopefully, I can work with them in the future. Uh, but also, awesome people, great to talk to. The Amend Two table was a blast. They're coming out with some cool stuff. As you guys know, may know, I've done a little bit of work with Amend Two in the past handful of years. Um, so, and they got some cool stuff that they're doing now. So that was awesome to see some of that and talk to those guys. Now for me, the crowning jewel, the, the one company that stood out the most, the, the thing I was most impressed with, and this is not to say anything bad about the rest of the companies there. Everybody was great. Everybody had nice stuff out there, but the one that stood out the most to me was Radian. Now Radian, you guys know their safety selectors, their charging handles, um, their uh, ramjet afterburner is fairly new, not really new, but fairly new. Um, 
and their rifles. I'll tell you what, I was highly, highly, and instantly impressed with that ramjet afterburner on both a Glock 19 and Glock 17. Uh, very controllable. I Certainly the best comp I've used to date. They were great guys to talk to on top of that. Uh, and the rifles seem to be built very well. They shoot great. Uh, I was just massively impressed by what Radian brought to the table for GunCon 2023 and what they're bringing to the industry. And I got to end day two by spending some time with some other creators, Tactical Toolbox, Tactical Considerations, both those guys are Arizona guys, about an hour and a half from me. Uh, got to talk to James Reeves from TFP, TFB TV, really cool guy, real down to earth. Uh, Jared from Guns and Gadgets, who I've actually known since he started his channel from a decade ago and uh, a, a few others. So that was really fun talking to all of those guys, kind of sharing some of the pros and cons of YouTube, talking about how we do, how we upload videos and, 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 and how we edit stuff and things like that. So that was just an awesome, awesome sort of collaboration thing, just talking to each other about sort of the business end of YouTube. Very cool guys, very awesome to talk to. Uh, had a great time. So once again, thank you to John Patton for putting this on. John Patton from the Gun Collective. If you don't know who he is, I, I feel, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for you. You don't know what you're missing out on. Go check out the Gun Collective. John Patton's an awesome guy, super down to earth, just an just an all around cool guy to be around. Uh, and the Brownells team that were such gracious hosts. Awesome facility. Go check out Brownells. And that is all I got for you for GunCon 2023. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.